Hi, ponies. Hi. Children's home? What's that? Children who don't have a home can live in a children's home. Sounds great. That's a great idea. A children's home. Fall in, single file. Number one first. No fussing allowed. Look both ways, watch out for traffic. Oh wait, there's no traffic here, right? Follow the leader. What a nice, safe yard. Of course it is, because there's nothing in it. Yeah. Pecky? Let's go, come on. They must be brother and sister. Number four and five, get in line. Kitty, what are you doing here? You'd think a children's home would look nice. Mrs. Rosebud should have built it like she did ours. I happen to know that woman. The director? Fern Stern. She was my daycare teacher. She forgot all about us kids because she just cleaned all the time. There's something very cantankerous that'll soon surprise all of us. Hi, Tinglestein and Tanglestein. Hi, girls. Kitty ran away again. Oh, thank you, girls. My, my, where have you been? Look, sis. Oh, <laughs> oh let's give it some warm water. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's very playful. Oh, so cute. <laughs> we will help friends stand by not running inside and by not talking loudly. We'll help Fernstern by keeping the house clean, cleaning up after ourselves, and by peeing directly into the toilet. We'll we help Fernstern by keeping the house clean, cleaning up after ourselves, and by peeing directly into the toilet. We'll help Fernstern by going to bed at 8 p.m. We'll help Fernstern by going to bed at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m.? That's very late for children your age. It's 6 p.m. already. We need to get a number of things done before bedtime. All right. That's it. That's a nice line. All right, number one to the right. Number two to the left. Number three to the left. Number four to the left. Number five to the right. Number five, over here. But we want to be next to each other. Girls will be on the right side and boys on the left so that I don't get confused. But we really want to... No negotiations. Number five to the right. Number six to the left. Number seven to the right. Number eight to the right. That's it. Hmm. hmm. Number five. Ma'am? Let me see your stuffed animal. It must be disinfected. 
Give it. Hmm. hmm. Number four, what book is that? Give it to me. Give it back. It's my favorite. UFOs and other inexplicable wonders? I'm sure you know UFOs don't exist. It would be strange if saucers flew, wouldn't it? UFOs aren't just flying saucers. UFO means unidentified flying object. Well, explain something to me. If there are aliens, why is it that we can't see them? Because we're so stupid. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> well, I'm confiscating this book so that nonsense like this won't disturb your brain development. I'm tired of improving myself. UFOs and other inexplicable wonders. Crazy kids these days. Pina, don't worry. I'll save us from Fernstern's reign of terror. Yes! I heard something. <coughs> oh no, they have a cough. I'll have to cook onion milk in the morning. It cures any sickness. I'll start making a big pot right away. Yuck! Yuck!
I'll go get the towels. Okay. Come take a look. Right there. What do you think that is? Maybe a doggy did that. The footprints are too big for a doggy. Looks like somebody was here. A mysterious stranger. <laughs> 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 I feel like baking. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Onion milk is ready. Number five. Number four. Onion milk is ready. <gasps> Emergency! Finally, police have arrived. Long time no see. Huh? Hmm. We were in the same class. Yes. Those were good times. Were they? Yeah. You always wanted to clean the classroom. <laughs> you wiped the blackboard six times a day. <laughs> no one else wanted to do that. Right. So, what's the problem here? <clears throat> a child is missing. Even though I've done everything according to the rules. No doubt. Follow the leader. Of course. Shoes off. Of course. <sighs> this one. What an adorable little scamp. It would be great to be his dad. Or anyone's dad. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Sit. Stay. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Who's here? Anybody home? We're here, girls! <laughs> we brought you a pie! Oh, Thank you. We took this out. Our great-great-grandmother's plant care book, because this strange plant has been acting up and misbehaving. Mm, delicious. Instructions for silly plants. Shy plants, fearful plants. They have instructions for everything. Instructions for grumpy or angry plants. Is that our plant's mm. problem? Maybe. What does the book say about it? 
Signs of a grumpy or angry plant. Mm. If the plant is so grumpy that it doesn't want to grow, make rumble fire. Make rumble fire? Sounds very powerful. In this book, there are all kinds of ingredients. Not him. Hello, pony. No. That looks exactly like the photo. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> no sightings of the subject. Thank you. It's from the mysterious stranger. Doggy! A boy. I'm not surprised. Help! <laughs> Doggy, come here! Who are you? You mysterious stranger. I'm not a stranger, I'm Becky. We're joined, Joe. I suggest next time you ask for permission. Before sleeping at people's cottages. Or borrowing clothes. Yeah, well, I didn't know who to ask. You must be sisters. And you live with your parents happily ever after. We're not sisters. We do live together. It's been a while now. And we'll live there happily ever after. But why are you here? I can't tell you. You'll probably go tell the first person you meet. No, we won't. You can trust us. Can I? Of course you can. You must be hungry because you ate our pie. Yeah, it was good. Do you happen to have anything to drink? I'm terribly thirsty. You're both very lucky because you get to live here. Where do you live? I don't have a home. I ran away from the new children's home. You can't make any decisions there yourself. Why not? Because of the director, Fern Stern. She thinks she's some great leader. I happen to know her. She's the most terrible person on earth. Before her, we had a director named Mary. Mary did a ton of things with us. But then she got too old. Mary retired and we got Fern Stern. Number four, get in the car. Number five. Fern Stern wouldn't even play with us. She only wants to make improvement plans and clean. Finally, we get to leave this dangerous house. There's nothing for us to play with in the yard. Ronnie Righteous. Please, go hide inside.
Girls! <laughs> yoo -hoo. Oh, you're having a scrumptious picnic here, I see. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Oh, uh, you see, a boy ran away from the new children's home. Oh. Have you seen him? Uh-uh. So is the boy dangerous or something? Nah, but the director's very worried. Are you sure? What do you mean? We were just thinking. The place doesn't look very nice. Do you want some jelly? Mm -hmm. What kind of jelly do you have? Strawberry, raspberry, orange. Mm. So what would you like? A bit of everything. Please. If only my mother could see this. Let me know if you see him. Bye! Should we have told Officer Righteous? If you had, he would have had to take me back to the children's home. I'm a runaway. We'll have to put out the fire. I'll go get water. What if he hasn't told us everything? What if he's a criminal? He can't be, because Doggy likes him. Here you are. Thank you. I declare the Bandit Alliance established. <laughs> the Bandit Alliance's mission is to save children from Fern Stern. And this very cottage that we are in is the headquarters. I should let my sister know I'm okay. She must be really worried. A rat, for example, could squeeze through a crack in the fence. A rat would be good if friends are afraid of them. We may happen to know someone small enough. We'll show you tomorrow. <whistles> McTinies! McTinies? McTinies. Hi, Joy and Jill. Long time no see. He's like a small human being. Duh. Hi, Tallies. Morning. Morning. Look what I got for my birthday. <laughs> 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 we could really use your help. Someone smaller than us should take the letter to Pina. Pina can read? Yes, if you hyphenate the syllables. What if Fern Stern notices? We'll make sure that she doesn't notice anything. We'll make a disguise. I'm sure... I'll deliver the letter. It'll be dangerous. If it's dangerous and you deliver it, I'll be left all alone here. I... I guess you're right. Yes, a disguise. Friend Stern is afraid of rats. We're going to make you a rat costume. I don't know if that's a very good idea. You I... already gave me permission. Did I? My wife and mother are at the annual McTiny Fair. I'm not used to making decisions. I'll tell Mom if you don't let me participate in this mission <laughs> that it is dangerous in a good way. Hmm. All right. Poot will accept this mission if you trust him and think he can complete the mission. 
If that chick whines about something, I'll yell, hands up, or I'll make ketchup out of you. Good. This mission requires extreme caution and consideration. Hmm? You have to act like a detective. Aha. Uh-huh. What's a detective? It's like a police officer no one notices. Is tacking enough? As long as it's durable and really strong. Okay. Does this look like an ear? Yeah. Can I try it on? Joy, give it to me. Yay! Aren't I scary? Yeah. You sure are. I live by a beautiful pond in a cottage owned by two girls. I'll come save you all as soon as I can. Are you tired, Poot? <laughs> Not at all. Let's wait a couple hours so that everyone's asleep. Yeah. So you know what you need to do? I'll whip her butt. Put the letter into the flower pot by the door. They'll find it there. So I'm just a mailman? A detective mailman. Detective mailman sounds good. Ooh, scary. Am I scary? Oh, yeah. Good luck. And we'll wait for you over there. The secret mailman will deliver this letter to Pina personally. What on earth? Poot, no! Poot! Oh, they're here. Finally, I get reinforcements. Wait for me! Who is it? It's me, the leader. Password. I'm the leader. I must have been dreaming. What was I thinking? K 
Can you see Poot? No, I can't. I think he went in. But how is he supposed to get out? Hey, Rat, what are you looking for? Is there a girl named Pina here? Possibly. Depends who's asking. Me. I'm not really a rat. This is a disguise. Nice. I have a letter for Pina from her brother. From Pecky, yeah? Is everything all right in here? <gasps> Help! Children! A rat! <gasps> rat! There are many of us. Somebody get it! The floor is dirty. Move it, children! It if you talks. don't behave yourself, <laughs> I will bring all the other rats there over with boy. me. Go, go. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my! <laughs> 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 I have to get out. <laughs> you can go through that window. You're definitely a water rat. <laughs> It was so funny when Fern got scared of that rat boy. <laughs> Number five, have you seen the creature? No. This is unbearable. Troops, disperse. This is a terrible situation. I have to call the exterminator. Everything has to be disinfected, cleaned, poisoned. She almost stepped on me and squashed me, but I bit her ankle. <laughs> she screamed in terror. <laughs> it was the terrible moment when I felt her flesh between my teeth. <laughs> she screamed, help, it bit my foot off. Shall we go home? You should get some sleep. I'll probably never be able to sleep again. Yeah, great. Now that the letter was delivered, yeah. how do we get a new director for the children's home? Let's file a complaint. To whom? To everyone. Who's our boss? I don't know. The mayor, maybe? Dear Mayor, Are you aware of the conditions at the children's home in Rose Alley? And what measures are you going to take? All right. Besides, there's nothing to play with in the yard. Pretty true. Playing is children's work. The children of the children's home are like unemployed people. Great job. Hmm, listen, sis. Yeah? We don't have all the necessary ingredients. Which ones? We need to ask for help from some little girls. I know two little girls. So do I. Yours sincerely. Very worried neighbors. Hi, girls. Tingle Stein and Tingle Stein. There you are. 
We came here because we need something from you two. Or actually... Or two things. Why don't you come over to the house? And then you... Tufts of hair from two little girls. Now we should have all the ingredients. My, what is that? Rumble fire. All right. Let's let it cool down a moment. <laughs> Annie. Annie. Yeah? What's the number of the new facility on Rose Alley? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This hmm. came in the mail. Yeah. Next. Next. Wait. None of you have lice. That's strange. You have something on your head. Where? Next to your ear. What? The other ear. Help! On your forehead. Oh no. My mistake. <laughs> There's nothing for children to play with in the yard. I invested in safety. Of course, you may visit any time. Yes, well, you're welcome. To the left. It looks rather unsafe. Oh my. Wonderful. Rumble fire. Take it easy. Take it easy. I wonder what this all means. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Watch out for traffic. Fern Stern, I'm the director. Hmm. My assistant, Annie. Hey. I wanted to come and see what our newest facility looks like after I received a letter from someone who's worried. Follow the leader. We must continue to adopt the best practices and to develop the quality chain further. We don't have enough man hours to... I can see that you have enough playground equipment. What is going on? I've particularly invested in safety. You, sh shoes off. Hmm. As I'm looking around here, the place looks very tidy. Yep. My humble thanks. I have to say that the senders of the letter hmm, 
who used the pseudonym Worried Neighbors Were Wrong. Worried Neighbors? Yep. You've done great work here. This is one of our best facilities. Mm. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My humble thanks. Mm. Follow the leader. Follow the lead. Oh. I don't believe it. Look at that. I think they became friends. Let's take it slowly. We'll figure something out. See you, cheers. Watch out! I need a head count. Brush your teeth thoroughly after eating. One, two, three. Brush your teeth twice a day. Brushing drives the germs away. Hmm? What's this? I live by a beautiful pond in a cottage owned by two girls. I'll come save you all as soon as I can. Could this have been written by the worried neighbors who wrote the complaint? Thank you. I'll analyze the evidence. I trust you completely. By a beautiful pond in a cottage owned by two girls. Oh dear. Ronnie, what's the matter? The girls are hiding the boy. I'm not exactly sure what I should do. Hmm. You have to do what your heart tells you to do. Yeah, I know I should. But I also have to obey the law. They're not always the same thing. I'm a police officer. Hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Have you seen this boy? Enforcement has a duty to do. In the name of the law, you're under arrest. Don't worry, I won't handcuff you. What are you gonna do then? I have to take you back to the children's home. I don't believe this. Doggy, Ronnie Righteous. Ronnie, please, you have to help us. I'd like to. But I'm a police officer, and it's my duty to enforce the law. Even if the law is stupid? Unfortunately. All right, come on. Be brave, Precky. There's still hope. I can't believe you did that. Oh. Number four, I've been so worried about you. Come in. My mother isn't watching.
Ronnie, are you sure? You no longer want to work for the police? Yeah, I'm sure. I hand in my badge, and it'll all be over. Then, I'll be a former cop. You're sad. Now that I'm no longer a cop, I've lost my identity, I think. You're my husband. True that. Remember, I already lost one husband. Because he played the rooster whistle outside too long. I won't catch a cold. Honey, anyone can catch a cold. I'll be in shortly. There's got to be a way to save those children. But how? We have to get into the house. Fernstern must have some weaknesses. How do we get into the house? Orphans get in. We're not orphans. She doesn't know that. Jill, you're a genius. But we can't both go in. One of us has to stay outside in case she figures out what's going on. <laughs> this little scoundrel managed to surprise me. <laughs> we have a visitor. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Not much. Magical things. Magical things don't exist. Hmm. And what things do? Things that need to be done. Uh huh. I'm worried about my children's safety. You're often making noise, and I see blinking lights here. Do you happen to be the worried neighbors? We're never worried about anything. I hear strange popping sounds and see flashing lights coming from your house. What's going on? <gasps> Maybe it's coming from a UFO. Hmm. Come on. There's no such thing as UFOs. I'll keep an eye on you. Keep that in mind. The Bandit Alliance. Yes? 
I'm looking for a home. It says children's home here. I remember you. You're Jill from the daycare center. Your parents were always late. No, they weren't. What? Nothing. Where are your parents now? They're on vacation sailing. They forgot to take me with them. I'm not surprised. Dear, dear. Come in, where it's safe. Let's go in quick, so that nothing happens. The wind is so strong, it might knock down a tree. Follow the leader. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up, up, up. Children, we have a new resident. Say hi to everyone, number nine. Hi, my name is Jill. We use numbers here. It's practical. Hi. Jill. 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 Give it to me. I'll show you how to clean the floor properly. One and two, and one and two. Ronnie wants to say something to you. I'm sorry I had to take Becky back to the children's home. That's okay. Try these on. They fit perfectly. Aren't they nice? Sure. And easy to keep clean. I should let Joy know I'm okay. Are you? Sure. Let's figure out what to do tonight. See if the light comes on. It doesn't. All right. The light doesn't work. No. We can't wash our hands or even brush our teeth. That's terrible. This place will be swimming with germs. That's right. We need to find something, like a flashlight. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joy. You won. I should probably go to bed. Well, it's pretty late, I suppose. I hope Joe will come up with a solution. Hey, look! What is it? Morse code. You know Morse code? Yes. If only my mother were here. <laughs> dot, dot. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, D. E. E. V. V. E. E. R. R. Y. 
Y. T. T. L. L. That's the end. <gasps> A kill? Hmm. <laughs> Everything's okay, Jill. Very good. Should we send her a message? You know how to send one? Of course. <laughs> she knows how to do all kinds of things. <laughs> I know what I want to say to her. M. You. Miss you. I miss you too, Joy. Number nine, can't you sleep? I'm just thirsty. UFOs. Now, can you imagine? People think they actually exist. You never know. If one landed in the yard with blinking lights, guess what I would tell those weirdos who were invading my territory? What? I'd say, howdy, show me that you can fly. Otherwise, you'll have to follow the leader into the house. Was the water cold? Not really. Oh dear, you're coming down with the cold. Go back to bed immediately. Pecky, I've got a super good idea. Deep. That grumpy plant. That's right, Jill. Good job. The Bandit Alliance has accepted new members. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. How can we be sure that Fernstern will think it's a UFO? Oh, oh, Our balloon plans. Can... Oh, okay. That's a great idea. I vote in favor of this plan. Second that. Tell me what we're doing again. The Bandit Alliance will show Fernstern that in the world there are all kinds of magical things. All kinds of magical things. Very potent things. Mm -hmm. I second that. All right. Go, Go Bandit Alliance! Band Alliance. <laughs> All right, good morning. What a beautiful day for making miracles. Here you are, Joy. Thank you. Should I pour some oh, more? No, let's wait a minute. Everything in time. <gasps> oh! Oh! oh. 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 Beautiful! Oh. Magic! Oh. Oh. Let's hold on to it! Oh. It's so big! Oh. Help me! Go big! Go big! Oh, <laughs> Oh. 
we'll just have to wait. I hope the fence is sturdy enough. That's right. Who wants whole good porridge? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no. no. I'm good. Mrs. What? You may want to hurry up and go outside. What is it? I think there's a UFO. <gasps> a UFO? Oh my gosh, what on earth? Is it? Oh my goodness. I... I'm coming! They must have heard about me. I suppose they need a leader! Children, don't move! This is dangerous. I'll go alone. Oh. I'm here. I'm ready. What? What rope is this? I knew it. They're trying to trick trusting people. You can't come into people's yards like this. Now she'll untie it and leave trash around. <laughs> Outrageous! The world is full of all kinds of things. Magical things. Grandma used to say we're miracles. We are. <gasps> oh, wow. Hello? Follow the leader. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Here we go. You 
over there. Number one and number two. All right. So I hear you had an idea for the children's home in Rose Alley. I haven't had time to look for a new director. We know who'd make a perfect one. Uh-huh. He has nothing to do. He needs lots of kids because he's so nice. Hmm. Hmm. Ronnie Righteous. Yes? I heard quite a bit about you, and I had to see for myself what kind of man you are. And I can tell that you really have a warm heart. What? My heart shows something? Yes, it does. As long as one has good eyes, and I do, I believe that you're the man for the position. Hmm. For what? Hmm. As the new director for the children's home. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if only my mother could see this. Hmm. We got a hug. Ah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mrs. Mrs. Rosebud. Rosebud. Hi, girls. I heard you wanted to chat. There's a children's home right over there that needs to be redesigned. A children's home? Oh. Well... That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. In the corners, marionettes were dressed in police uniforms, guiding the traffic. Some people were hanging bright white doll laundry. On clotheslines in the yards, some were leaning on their fences, chatting with their neighbors. Everything looked so pretty. It was charming, and it was a pleasure to look at. came in the mail. <laughs> Jill! <laughs> Pecky, Pina, and Henry. Timmy, Matilda, Amanda, Ian, and Evelina. Greetings from Antarctica. I have good company and I haven't cleaned in a long time. Say hi to Joy and Jill. Remember to have fun. The world is a marvelous place. Ha, 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 ha. 